What do you like most about Taiwan? People here are really friendly. They're really nice and kind. They really are. I'm, I like the friendliness of the people. I mean, it's a beautiful country uh, with a lot of wonderful people and the food is really awesome. <laughs> people are very kind and very patient and very loving. And it's beautiful. And the food. I like it that Toby's here. You see this, everybody says that. I ask like 10 people now and they always say lovely people, good food and it's beautiful. Classic. This is the first time since I started this uh, YouTube channel that we are leaving the country, that we are leaving the Philippines and um, we are going to Taiwan. We are spending two weeks there to attend a seminar and hopefully I can show you around a little bit and I can learn a lot about Taiwan as well. And so we arrived in Taipei City, Taiwan. It's good to have some friends from all over the world. And so we had a place to stay for this night. On the next morning they showed us how to get to the main station of Taipei City. We were really pumped already because we were going to take the HSR to the very south of Taiwan. The high speed speed train. High speed train ticket counter. Oh, special entrance. Yeah, gerne. A large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. So we just bought our tickets to the high-speed train. We're waiting a few more minutes. So we have assigned seats apparently. 9, B and C. But everything seems to be very modern, very up to date, very clean. It's, it's really nice. The high speed rail line runs about 350 kilometers along the west coast of Taiwan from the capital Taipei to Kaohsiung in the south in about 1 hour 45 minutes. It runs up to 300 kilometers per hour and is very well maintained. A very comfortable ride. Okay guys, this train is very fast, very comfortable, um, very nice or whatever. They have toilet paper here, they have seat covers here. Well organized country, I like that. And maybe in 30 minutes we are already there. Then we have to go to the bus station, probably another two hours and we'll be at our final destination. So one major difference between Taiwan and the Philippines is 
that there is a 7-Eleven in every corner. Just here in this one train station, there are at least three 7-Elevens. This one there, this one there, and another, and another one there at the end of the hallway. So I'm very proud of Ina at this trip. I didn't organize a thing, so I don't know where to get to places, I don't know anything about the train and the buses. Ina completely organized that and she's taking care of it, so I'm just following her around. What's going to happen next? <laughs> so apparently the next bus is 1 o'clock and we also got a return ticket. Oh, that's co that comes in handy. Yeah, so I don't know, it's all in <laughs> Chinese signs, but I will figure this out, yeah. Nice, okay, let's head to the bus. Maybe the bus is already there. Yes, I am amazed it's so organized everything in this country. We even get free water here. We're on 7 Eleven. We arrived in Hangchung and now we're waiting for our hosts to pick us up. It was a very comfortable, very nice ride. Really enjoyed that. You know? Our host will come in a couple of minutes. It's really nice here. One of the most distinct differences between here and the Philippines is the temperature. I think it's as humid as in the Philippines or maybe a little bit more, but the temperature is much lower. It just makes me feel more comfortable here. Our host picked us up eventually and brought us to the place where we stayed for the next two weeks. This was a little vlog introduction to Taiwan. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. There will be more videos coming out about Taiwan, the culture, the food, and other topics, so stay tuned. Enjoy life, and see you in the next video.